Well, good evening again, everyone, as we take a look at that beautiful view from the top of Tamarack Resort. We've got a great camera lens here. If there's any light at all, it really brightens things up. This is the moonlight this morning before that sun, uh, before the moon set, and then before the sun came up, I'll change it right here. This is the sun was coming up. Beautiful red sky in the morning and red sky in the morning. Uh, sailors or farmers take warning. That's kind of the weather folklore that goes on. Usually means there's a system that could be approaching uh, and uh, certainly the case. We do have a, a frontal system coming in. Nothing major, but there will probably be some showers up here. A few showers later this evening and tonight, but the time last view shows that haze in the air. Look at this. We hadn't seen the smoke in a while, and so that's a little bit of a change. Some smoke coming in from the south and west, showing up in some of the other cameras as well. Uh, almost like a typical view from Meridian looking towards the Boise front, but boy, it was really clear. That nice, clean air we had yesterday. That smoke coming in from Southern California, looping its way on in. It's going to slide to the east overnight tonight. Tomorrow morning we get a little bit of smoke still lingering in the valleys, but I think it's going to get kind of whisked away with the sunshine coming in. So I think you're going to like the forecast as we head Friday into the beginning of the weekend. We're likely to have no smoke. More smoke will probably come in as we uh, advance through the weekend. So a cold front that's been poised to the west is now pushing towards western Idaho and it'll be pushing into eastern uh, the southwest Idaho as we go through the evening. This low pressure system is going to slide right through the Idaho Valley County line here and as it tracks on through, it's a vigorous little front will give us some breezes, maybe a shower in mountain locations, but the, but here's the big picture. It shows warmer temperatures being pushed to the east, slightly cooler weather comes in for tomorrow, mostly further north, and then warmer temperatures to the west. That'll start to slide in for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so the temperatures are going to be warming up nicely. Not much of a wind this, this afternoon as we had a little breeze this morning, but here's the cold front coming through between 7.30 and 8.30, and these are the maximum wind gust potential for 25 to 30 mile an hour wind gust could blow some dust around a little bit as it pushes on through and then there's always a chance uh, there is a chance for some light showers or sprinkles talking about the wind though first hit this is tomorrow now maybe some breezes uh, 10 to 15 could gust up to 20 miles an hour kind of a refreshing autumn day will clean the air out a little bit as well then that wind will settle right back down but the computer charts the future cast does show a little green showing up this is six o'clock and if we push it through that's now and then is a little bit later here we're going to push through long valley with a chance of some of those showers coming through as it sweeps on and that's the low pressure system going on by the valley a lot less of a threat for showers but you see that nice clear air pushing right on in and that's going to be the case the mccall area today temperature 35 this morning. A little bit of a breeze on the lake at times, but not much. Temperatures will be near 70 tomorrow, mid 70s Friday, Saturday, and on Sunday. A good looking weekend forecast coming in. And no excuses. Got to get out and mow the lawn any day. Just pick the day because the conditions are going to be good. No real precipitation to really talk of, and the temperatures will be pretty comfortable. Here's the forecast for the Treasure Valley coming up for tomorrow. Low 80s in the Western Valley. Boise should be right around 77 degrees tomorrow, so it's going to be a little bit cooler. It'll be cooler in the Central mountains as well. And in the valley, we're going to see a breeze. If you live in Cambridge Council, New Meadows, it could be a breeze here as well. Now the forecasts, the extended forecast, there's the dip in the 70s tomorrow. Low 80s on Friday. We go to the mid 80s, still holding. The charts aren't changing. Going to keep it into the 80s for Saturday and Sunday. A peak ahead to next week. Look at that. Next Wednesday, we could go down to 66 degrees. So a big change coming in. Enjoy the first weekend of autumn, which looks really, really nice.